Tesla is currently building a Gigafactory in Mexico. It's trying to build a second Gigafactory to double the size of its Gigafactory in Germany. It's building a second Gigafactory or a massive extension in China. However, a lot of people think Tesla is going to build a Gigafactory in Italy or India. I've been saying I don't think those places are likely. I believe this is the most likely location for Tesla's next Gigafactory, which is really good if you live in a right-hand drive country. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Tesla doesn't have a vehicle factory in a right-hand drive country. You're probably thinking to yourself, right-hand drive? What the hell does that mean? Well, in Australia, in Japan, Thailand, the UK, and a few other countries around the world, cars are driven on the left-hand side of the road. So the steering wheel is on the right-hand side. Now, this causes massive problems for car manufacturers and it's one of the reasons we don't have some of the cars you guys have. For example, the Ford F-150, it sells well. It would be a really good selling vehicle in Australia if it was you know, sold by Ford themselves. Historically, there's been a lot of vehicles not available in Australia because they're not made in right-hand drive. Tesla doesn't have a right-hand drive car factory, but it sells a lot of cars in right-hand drive countries. I mean, it sells a lot of cars, very popular in Australia, very popular in Thailand, very popular in Malaysia, very popular in Japan, very popular in the UK, places that are right-hand drive. Tesla has to have a separate production line at its factory in China where it makes cars for right-hand drive because everything else is left. And it's also the reason why in Australia we don't get to buy the Model S or the Model X because they're only built in left-hand drive. Volume production isn't going to happen for those cars, so Tesla doesn't want to sell them here. Makes sense. A lot of car companies follow that same rule as Tesla. Thailand, though, is where Tesla is going to probably build a Gigafactor, or at least they're in talks with the Thai government. The Thai government are very, very keen for Tesla to build a car factory there. In fact, they're very keen for anyone to build a car factory there. There's a lot of car manufacturers building electric car factories in Thailand. There's been heaps of announcements over the past six months. A new EV factory just opened from a Chinese car company in Thailand recently. Uh, BYD apparently are actually going to build a car factory in Thailand. There's quite a few companies that are going to do this. There is a big automotive industry in Thailand already. Uh, the Thai government, they're pretty good with dealing with um, companies and businesses. There hasn't been a lot of reports of there being companies that have been screwed like they have in India. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about in India, in India, some companies have had their factories seized by the government and they've just been kicked out because, well, for no real reason, the government's just decided we want that, we'll take it. That's the risk with India. Now, I'm sorry if you're a subscriber and you're from India, but that has happened. It's definitely happened before. That's the risk with Tesla. That's the risk with any company doing business in certain countries where they have a history of, well, yeah, doing things that are really, really bad for business. Tesla is in talks with the Thai government right now to open a gigafactory in Thailand. Now, this was confirmed by an official from the country's prime minister's office yesterday. Tesla and Thailand have discussed a potential partnership for a number of years, and the parties have been establishing a serious relationship recently, say reports, meeting and discussing the potential for this gigafactory in Thailand. Now, there are also battery factories being built there, but Thailand's not that far away from China. So Tesla could continue to get its battery supply from China for these, car, for these cars that they would make at this gigafactory in Thailand. Things are moving in the right direction. According to Thailand, they say a Thai government official say that Tesla is considering building the facility somewhere in the country, probably near its Thailand's existing automotive industry. Ford have a factory there. Quite a number of companies have factories already. Legacy automakers have factories there already. So there is a fair bit of a workforce in Thailand that are qualified to build cars and have an under automotive understanding. On Monday, an official confirmed that it could be for EVs not just EVs, but also for batteries. The report follows visits between Tesla and Thai officials in late 2023. Last year, Tesla hosted Prime Minister Shreta Tavisan at its Fremont factory in Northern California, where he and Lars Moravi took a picture on top of a Cybertruck. Now, this wasn't the only meeting between Tesla and Thailand last year, as the Prime Minister said in an interview in November that the EV maker would be sending officials to the country to inspect factory locations. 
And not just that, but here's the main thing. Tesla are clearly, clearly trying to get as many incentives from the Thai government as they possibly can. Probably tax breaks as well. Makes sense. Everyone does this. Just actually met with CEO Elon Musk in September in New York, where they discussed Tesla, SpaceX and Starlink as well. And that was actually mentioned by the Prime Minister of Thailand. Thailand does have a pretty strong automotive industry. It's the largest producer and exporter of vehicles in Southeast Asia. However, it's wanting to transition to support electric cars. It believes electric cars are the future. And basically it believes that these factories building internal combustion engine vehicles will eventually go out of business. So Thailand's pushing really hard to incentivize EV manufacturers, whether they're from China or anywhere else, to set up their businesses in Thailand. It is already handed out nearly $1.5 billion in investments from Chinese automotive companies, according to Reuters. It's evident Thailand actually is super keen for Tesla to build a factory there, but so is Italy. Italy have been basically begging Tesla to build a factory there as well. Personally, I think it's much more likely that Tesla build a new factory in Thailand versus Italy or India for all the reasons I've mentioned, but also the fact that, like I said, it's a big market. Southeast Asia is a big market. Australia, car market, New Zealand, Japan, UK. They could build right-hand drive cars at that factory, have a dedicated production line just for right-hand drive markets and really go after that segment of the market, which I think is, well, very keen for electric cars. Electric cars have gained popularity in all those countries significantly, but there just isn't that much product available there at the moment. Thanks for watching.